First off, welcome back to the channel, and we're going to get into this Tyler Linderbaum film. Um, again, everything's not going to be all good, and because there's a lot of, of want from Linderbaum and the Ravens community, and even though my draft stuff is not just specifically Ravens, you're probably going to get multiple films on Linderbaum. I'm probably going to take uh, two or three games from today, and then maybe do two or three later on. Uh, I definitely, if I can find it, I want to do that Michigan game and kind of see how, where he stack, stacks up against those NFL caliber type guys. But let's start right here with uh, Illinois. And this Illinois game, they had, let me see, 172 rushing yards, which I think is their biggest total for the, the year. Let's kind of get into the tape and see what he does. Now, again, everything's not all, all rosy, so you're going to see good and bad. So here we start right here. Obviously, Lindbaum's the center. He'll be he's covered up by 93 right here, but that's the play right there. Has a nose around his head. It's a nice switch to a one. Switch to a strong side one. He got a, so he got a one and a three. And the play is going to Lindenbaum's right. 44 is gonna walk down late. So now he has a weak side one and a strong side one, with that being a linebacker. That one I don't like. Starting off with a, with a play I don't like. You got to get his head on the other side. He can't get out leverage like that, especially they're running stretch to the left. To, well, I'm sorry, stretch to his right. He got to get his head on this side. With it, in the middle of the circle. Head on the back side, meaning 44 has out leveraged him and 44 is lower than him. Now, if, it, if it's not for this fullback, it's probably a tackle for a loss if it's not for the fullback. Because really, 45 should feel right there, and that should be a tackle for a loss. Because 45 is really the fullback's guy. But it's only one play. It's only one play. And it's just a start. All right, here we go. Um, inside zone right. Hey. Again, Linda Bum is right here. Center. Inside zone going to his right, my left. Let's watch it. Perfect hand placement. Oh, I'm sorry, perfect hat placement. Hand needs to, needs to go inside. Let's see if, see if we can slow it down and get the hand inside. Hand still outside. They just, all he needs to do, in my opinion, is take that left horn and get it up under 93's armpit and in perfect position. Now, the... the the guard gets in butt whoop, which is the reason why this cuts back. But that's good by Linderbaum. I mean by Linderbaum. This right here, that's good inside zone blocking. You can't beat that. He's in great position. He he like this dude would have to literally go through him to get to it. He he got some he got enough leverage to where he can't fight over top and he can't go underneath it. That, that's not bad position. Now he's a little high as far as his, his being. But he still got being, and that's not a problem because right now 93 is high itself. 93 is high himself. So that's the inside zone on this play is pretty darn good. Now, I do love his his um, connectivity and ability to get to the second level. Watch him here in the middle of the screen right here. Hey, he's your center. Watch. He does a great job of working double teams. He's awesome at that, getting to the second level. Got good leverage on that guy. 77, come on. 77 pushing him off, and you see the linebacker. He recognize it. Bam. Can't beat that. Running back, and running back got options now. He does a good job of getting the second day, second level and understanding leverage. He works well, you know, when guys double with double teams. He works very well at that. I can't make, can't be mad at that at all. He does a good job of getting to the second level and understanding when to come off the double team and maybe engage the linebacker or blitz and safety, whoever it might be. All right, we're back with another play. So this is counter counter to the right. In in every system I know, when you run counter, and this is our target here, Lindenbaum. When you run counter, the center down blocks. And so, in my opinion, he should be blocking that guy right there. Why he... Never mind. Just play it. 
His his angle is bad to start with. He should be headed. He should be headed right for this point right here. Right for that shoulder pad to make him have to go through him. Don't give him opportunity to go over top or underneath. Go straight through him and try to work him back that way. Feet stopped. Takes a bad angle. And now he's on him. But why give him up? Because you, you got 85 there to cut off that backside hole. So now when he gets to the other side, even though this cat right here shouldn't be involved in the play, but just to say he's not in the play. Now because you let this cat go, you got a free run over here to try to get over here because you let your guy go. So now your guy's chasing the play and you sitting here playing pocket pool. Come on now, fix it. Still early, still game one, still but fix it. Hey, and for all that what seemed to be negative stuff early, he come back and do stuff like this. Watch this pass pro. Watch his foot, feet. Watch his feet and his hand placement. For all that seemed to be neg negative stuff I was saying a minute ago, watch this. Great steps. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. Hands ain't where supposed to be. Look at the base. Look at the base. That's perfect. That's perfect right there. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's teach tape right there, buddy. That is teach tape material right there. If this kid goes to a zone running scheme, a zone, I'm sorry, a team that runs the, the zone run scheme, It'll be a match made in heaven. Watch, watch, watch this on this. This uh, this is outside zone, inside zone. This inside zone to the right. Look at the leverage. Great leverage. Half the man. 64 got to come and get the other half. Now we got a key on this guy right here. And his eyes are already keyed there. His eyes, are, his eyes are already keyed to the linebacker. Let me slow down. Get excited when I talk about him a little bit. His eyes are already keyed to the linebacker. Engage. Look at that double team. And he ain't come off too early. He ain't come off too early. Because 44 really ain't pressed the hole yet. Which is the, the linebacker I'm talking about. They they took that guy to 44. So now 44 don't have options. If this kid gets on a team that runs the zone scheme, like the Rams or the Vikings or some crap like that, man, they got a gold mine. Now, I think this is an old school influence block. This play, let me get my pen. This play, not bad, is going to start off this way, but being back that way on purpose. Everybody, All these guys up here are going right, and you got 84 is going to come backside this way. So the back's going to kind of take a step here, come and bend it behind it. So he knows this. Linda Bum knows this. Watch how he stepped that way. Influence this guy, fight fight them to get over the top, and then just turn his butt around and seal him off. That's high level stuff right there, man. That's high level stuff right there. Watch it. I'm stepping right, like the zone. So now the defensive lineman is gonna fight to get over top. He's gonna fight to get over top. He's gonna fight to get over top. Now Linda Bum lets him get over top because he knows where the run going. Then he just turns his butt. Look at that. And if 15 was patient. If 15 was patient and let him kick that out, he hit it right behind it. See, if 15 was patient, if he was any kind of back, and I know we talking about Linda Bond, but I just, I'm coaching football. Now, you got to hit that. You got to hit that. He out there dancing. Come on, now. Now, this is a similar play to the last one, but this time he has a quicker guy on him. And we all know where he is, so I got mark. I ain't got to keep marking him at center. Steps with his left, gets the good leverage. But this time, dude crosses his face like faster than he expects. Look at that! Hey, and I noticed the tape on Lindebaum, but look at the hands by that D tackle. Watch that! Watch that! That um, watch the hands. Real. That's great by the defensive tackle. And I noticed the Lindebaum tape. 
But that's a great move right there. I got, you know, game recognized game. But as far as Linderbaum, he just he got a guy in there that he was – 99 was in there at first, and he was just able to – because 99 like a big, strong, powerful dude. He was able to kind of outsmart him and out-finesse him. But now he got a quicker guy in there. Probably not as big, but quicker. And he had great, great um, technique with his hands. Great technique with his hands. That's a hell of a play by a defensive tackle. Hell of a play. Yep. Ah, then we got a hole. Why? Why? So instead of just taking the, the, the loss, you grab the guy. Don't look like they even called that crap. Don't look like he might have got away with that. All right, so now they got the big, strong guy back in there. And a little change of pace. Ninety four was the last play we saw, not ninety nine back in. Run the outside zone. He gotta get that hit on the other side. I don't know if his drop step not deep enough, or the guy's a little bit too quick for him. But he gotta try to get that hit on the other side. Look, 99 is in the gap already. 99 in the gap. Has leverage on him. Now watch this. Penetration killer play. Even though it's a boot. Even though it's a boot. Keep in mind, we ain't worried about what's going on. We worry about just, just this guy right here. All we worry about is that. I know it's a boot. I know it's a boot. But still, this could be just like a run play because it's supposed to be sold like a run play. Penetration will kill that. Because you got to sell it like a run. You got to sell it like a run. Now, a lot of times people don't recognize the battle within the battle. Again, this is Linda Ball, my center. And this play has no bearing on how I feel. I just want to show you the <laughs> the little nuances that happen in the trenches. So, this is going to be a pass play. They're empty or whatever. And uh, Linda Ball is going to deliver an initial blow. And you're going to see this D tackle's head go straight back like he's been punched in the chin. But after that, the defensive tackle was like, okay, now what? And he just take it, Linda Bum, and go straight backwards. Even though the ball gets out, and like I said, this this play has no bearing on what I feel about him. I just wanted to show you that trench play and how, how the back and forth goes in, in the trenches. Now watch. Watch this punch. Boom! <laughs> Head goes straight back. Now watch what the, the guy's like, okay, you just slapped me, okay. Nah, now what? Let's go straight back. <laughs> he, go, he takes him straight back to the quarterback. <laughs> we get to see some solo pass pro here. Center right here, we get to see some solo pass pro. Let's watch it. Initial footwork good. Got the quick jump on him, quick setting, so to speak. Let me back it up. Watch that right foot. Quick setting before he even get up. Boop, boop. Good. Good position. Hands inside. Dropping his anchor. Guy's trying to get away. Decent base. He's getting thrown around a little bit, though. But the reason he's getting thrown around is not because of his technique. It's because that cat is obviously stronger than him. But still, he finds his base. Now, the only thing he's lacking right here is to sink the hips. But he fought him well enough for the cavalry to come. He fought him long enough and well enough for the cavalry to come. Now sit your big head down. And finish him off. <laughs> finish him off down there. Now, I could say this is Linda Bum's fault, but I'm not sure. Because I don't, I don't know the nuance of that pass protection. But what happens is, let me draw it up before we play it. I'm thinking they're man on man, on man over here. And slide this side. That's what I'm thinking. But I could be wrong because there's three guys here and three guys over here. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking um, Linda Bum should be there. 77 should be here. And 56 should be there. That's what I'm thinking. And this is the reason why it could be his fault, but it also could not be because I don't know the nuance of their pass pro. 76 steps down. And his guy crosses his face. He steps back out there with him. Now, nobody accounts for this gap. 
Nobody accounts for this gap right here. Nobody. That gap's wide open. And then he gonna feel it. Now, with what's going on right here, with him taking this this outside approach, I would think you you would swivel your head back that way. Because you can't really help if he go outside of 64. Then you maybe pick this guy up late. See, I don't know if that's his gap or what. I'm not sure. And they're running the stun over there too. So I'm saying it could be his fault. Not really sure. I'm, you know, just just wanted to put it in on put it in the video. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and say this. I was not expecting to get this many good clips, good or bad, from this Illinois game. I got three other games of Lindenbaum that I'm still going to watch. But this first video is probably going to end right here. And this is going to give you the good and the bad of Lindenbaum in one play. All right? You're going to get the good and the bad of Lindenbaum in this one play right here. And, again, we all know he's the center. So, he's going to be right down in the middle of your screen. Let's get it. You gonna play today or what? Oh, you ain't messing with me right now. Oh, there it is. I'll say run his own right. Good luck outside his own right. And he has a nose. So he gotta take care of that guy first. Especially with him step they're stepping with the basically the same foot. He's going right, Linda Bum's going right, defensive tackle's going left. So that's his guy until sixty four gets there. He has to take him with outside leverage until sixty four gets there. Now, 64 comes. Now, it's on Linderbaum if whoever falls in that gap to finish him. So, that's a good job of double teaming and realizing their place. So, right now, the back has a great lane to run in because of Linderbaum and his backside guard and what 79 doing. He has a great lane to run in. That's the good of Linderbaum. You know what? There is no bad. Now that I see this. I saw this run the all 22 angle. And I, saw, I saw the end of this play and I saw him get slung down like this. But... He trips. He trips. And that's why I like doing it like this because you don't get a, you kind of get my full reaction. You don't get a, a scripted thing about it. Because watching it from the All-22, it looks like this guy just slams him down. But I see it right there. He trips over 64 leg and he kind of throws him down at the end. So it don't look as bad as I originally thought. As a matter of fact, I'll go back and show you the All-22 so you can see. What I thought happened. All right, this is him right here in the middle. And just looking at it from this view, you can understand why I thought it was good and bad. I knew the block was good. I just thought the finish was bad. But let's watch it. It looks like he just gets slung down and the guy makes a tackle. But again, I got a lot of good clips off this game. And it may be something even better toward the end that I'm going to watch, but I just didn't want to make any more clips. And right now, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with this dude. And because the flock wants, you know, has a a, a a liking to this guy, and I think he was mocked to us by Mel Kuyper, I'm probably going to do two more films on Linderbaum. I definitely, if I can find Michigan, I'm definitely going to do Michigan. Definitely. I definitely want to see what he does with pretty much NFL dudes. And I know their NFL dudes are technically Ojabu and, and Hutchinson. I'm sure they got some interior guys that will put up a pretty big fight versus uh, Linderbaum. And, um, but, hey, if you like this comment, hit the like button. If you want to make sure – no, if you want to make – not if you want to be here. Be here when we drop those other Linderbaum films so you can, you know, see the good, the bad, and the ugly. So down below in the comment section, put, you know, what you think about Linda Baum and who else you think I should do or what game I should try to do because I got three more games of it. Well, I got two more definitely and one more I'm trying to find. But, um, hey, I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Um, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, and see you guys real soon. Coach Evans out.